Arnel A. Sikuya, former FEO Track and Field player. So, sa araw na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo yung uh, rules, measurement, points, at kung paano i-perform yung long jump. So, ngayon, ituturo ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga measures sa long jump kung ano yung mga measurement at ituturo ko din sa inyo kung paano yung scoring at yung mga falls so una uh, ituturo ko muna sa inyo kung ano yung mga measurement no so dito sa runway no meron siyang 40 meters no ka 40 meters ang length and 1.22 meters ang width kung gaano siya ka lapad and then dito naman sa landing area yung uh, yung haba niya is nasa 8 meters to 9 meters so yung lapad naman niya is nasa 2.75 meters dito naman sa take off board no? itong kulay na ito ito yung uh, clay no? may iba't ibang kulay yan no? mayroong uh, red blue at iba pa no? so itong puti na ito ito yung board no? na uh, dyan tatapak yung paa para mag take off so yung dit yung uh, lapad ng ano ng board no nasa 20 cm lang tsaka ang kabuho, kabuhuan uh, board at tsaka yung sa clay nasa 30 cm so sa falls um, kapag ang atleta ay magpas sa uh, 1 minute hindi na siya pwedeng tumalon and then ang kapag ang jumper ay tumalon tapos lumagpas yung paa niya dito sa may take off board or napakan niya yung clay matatawag yun as a foul and then kapag ang atleta ay tumalon tapos sa labas sa nag landing foul din yun Sa scoring naman, ito ay pahabaan ng talon. So, sa pag-measure ng talon is by meters. So, kapag mayroong 10 players o higit pa sa 10 players, ang bawat, sa kanil, ang bawat isa sa kanila is mayroong tatlong trial. So, sa 10 players na yon, walo lang sa kanila ang magpapabilang sa finals o tinatawag nilang magic 8. So, yung magic 8 na yon, meron sila ang ulit at uh, tigtatlong trial so sa portion na ito is kung sino yung may mahabang talon siya yung mananalo pero kapag merong kapantay yung isang player na measure silang dalawa is bibigyan ulit ng tatlong trial so yung tatlong trial na yon kung sino yung nag improve or tumaas yung talon siya yung mananalo so ano ba ang long jump? Ang long jump ay combination ng strength, agility, and speed para ang isang player ay makatalo ng malayo. So, kapag long jump, no, uh, meron si klaseng mga uh, style sa pagkuha ng kanilang rhythm. No? Kung may ilan na, uh, mga ganon-ganon, ganyan, kaya mga ganon-ganon, depende, no? depende sa players kung ano yung makakabuti sa kanila kung paano nila kukunin yung rhythm nila. 
dito sa picture na ito makikita natin na yung left side ng player ay naka forward yung right side naman niya is naka backward so ito yung mga ginagawa ng mga players or ng mga jumpers upang magkaroon sila ng rhythm o kaya mag-focus sa gagawing speed at talon. Dito naman sa pangalawang picture, makikita natin dito na mag-a-attempt na siya mag-speed. And dito naman sa pangatlong picture, makikita natin dito na nag-speed na siya. No? Nag-speed. And dito naman sa pang-apat na picture, makikita naman natin dito yung kanyang stride. Kung gaano siya kahaba. At kailangan dito yung paa niya is naka-high knee upang yung stride niya is mas mahaba. Mas mabilis. So, kapag ang player ay nag-take off na doon sa take off board ito naman yung kanyang posisyon doon sa ere so yung picture na yan yan yung nakahang siya sa ibabaw dito naman sa panglimang picture makikita natin na yung paa niya is naka extend forward at yung body niya is naka forward din Tapos yung kamay niya is nasa ibaba. So, ang purpose nito is para ma-aim niya yung distance na gusto niyang abutin. Dito sa picture na ito, makikita natin yung landing ng mga players. No? So, bakit ganyan yung landing nila? Ang purpose niyan is para yung likod nila o ulo nila hindi tatama doon sa pinaka malapit na distance kasi kapag ang ulo mo is tumama dun sa pinaka malapit na distance yun yung pagbabasihan o yun yung imi-measure sa jumps mo kaya ganyan yung kanilang land upang ma-prevent yung uh, pag-apak ng kamay o ng katawan doon sa mas malapit na measure. So ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo yung long jump kung paano siya gawin. Up next the competitor from the Philippines. This is the defending champion Aris Toledo. He won the 100 meters earlier quite convincingly. Let's see if he could beat the 584 which was the first jump earlier by the Indonesian Fauma De Fril Jumra crowd getting behind him right now and it appears that he might have gone over the line it is a red flag but that would have been something that would have put him on the long jump team as well If that were legal jump, it's about an inch off. You can see that almost half a foot in. So a no jump for Aris Toledo of the Philippines. And now we have Janri Ubas of the Philippines. His first attempt here in the long jump. Wow, that was a good jump, legal jump, white flag comes out, that's going to put him into first place, that was well over seven meters. Again, a legal jump, and how about the elevation, almost at the seven and a half meter mark. 
for the entry from the Philippines. And he will take the lead with a 739. Three to get more points to support that, keep him in the lead. This time it's a good jump. That's about at the seven meter mark. Still gonna come short of Jandri Ubas' attempt earlier. But that will be good enough to put him into second place. At the moment, still one jump to go. Just past the seven meter mark. So the defending champion, currently ranked number one here in the long jump. Second attempt now for Janri Ubas of the Philippines, asking for some crowd support. And that is close to the 8-meter mark now. Good jump again for Jenry Ubas of the Philippines. Didn't think that it could be possible for him to improve on the 739, but he's closer to 8 meters right now. Get a good jump. An incredible lift. Flying towards the 8-meter mark. Just coming up short, but that will improve his stranglehold on first place here in the long jump. Currently in second place, looking for a big one here, so he may have a chance to overtake Jandri Ubas and retain the top spot so far in the triathlon. Whoa! Good jump. That might put him in the lead. No doubt about it being a good jump. But then the lift and the finish. It all depends on where they mark this, but this will be close. 7.33. Stays in second. There's the winner of the long jump for the decathlon from the Philippines. Janri Ubas with a curtain call. And almost at the 8-meter mark again. Good jump again for Janri Ubas who will win the long jump. Second event of the decathlon. Here in New Clark City Stadium, let, let us all say hi to Pami. Definitely going to be an improvement over his last jump of 754. It's just short of it, actually, 753. It is confirmation. Ubas winning for the Philippines. One, two, finish in the long jump and we now update the points that was amassed from that event